With news, weather, and sports, in 10 minutes, you are watching 10 at 10. With Doug Kazurian, Terry Phillips, Chris McGinnis with your most accurate and dependable forecast, and Brian Gattle with sports. All the news in 10 minutes. You are watching 10 at 10. Good evening, I'm Doug Kazarian. And I'm Terry Phillips. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Severe weather causing death and devastation in parts of the Midwest. But our forecast much calmer. And for an update, we go to Chief Meteorologist Chris McGinnis in the Weather Center. Chris. Much calmer and much, much warmer. In fact, record and near record warmth in the forecast the next couple of days. The record high for tomorrow, 87. And I think we're going to be awfully close. There's a chance for some midweek showers, and we will finish the work week off with some much cooler weather. I'll have all the details coming up in just a couple of moments, guys. All right, thanks, Chris. Twisters cut a swath of destruction through Indiana and Kentucky early yesterday morning, killing at least 22 people. Today, weary rescuers hold on to dwindling hopes of finding survivors in a 20-mile path they're forced to sift through. Warning sirens went off just minutes before the tornado hit, leaving people little time to prepare. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. You know, um, I'm not sure what else you could do. Uh, we, you know, we heard, I heard the sirens, you know, it woke me up uh, right before we were dispatched. So, um, you know, the, the, the system is in place. I'm not sure what else you could do at 2 o'clock in the morning. Mother Nature picked the worst place to drop in a tornado in, in this event. It's, a, it's an open farm field, um, every 350 mobile homes that, that are more vulnerable in a storm of this magnitude. Twelve hours after the storm hit, rescue workers found an eight-year-old boy in a ditch pinned down by the wall of a trailer. He made it through with only cuts and bruises. A convicted killer who escaped a Houston jail last week is back behind bars. Authorities arrested Charles Victor Thompson last night outside a liquor store in Shreveport, Louisiana. Thompson escaped during a transfer to death row. Authorities say Thompson put on civilian clothes and pretended to be a law enforcement official to bluff his way out of jail. Thompson faces execution for killing his ex-girlfriend and her new boyfriend in 1998. The rioting in and around Paris spread to more than 300 cities around France. Today, the first fatality was reported in the unrest after a 61-year-old man hurt in the violence died of his wounds. Rioting continues for the 12th night in a row. The mayhem began as an outburst of anger in a suburban Paris housing project and has fanned out among youth from France's large Arab minority. This afternoon, the government deployed nearly 10,000 police to try to stop the unrest. As the riots rage in France, Germany deals with its own civil unrest. Several cars were torched in Berlin last night, apparently prompted from the riots near Paris. The German officials are downplaying the comparisons to France. There's more ahead on ABC 32. That's right. After the break, the tide making some noise in both the basketball and football polls. And Chris McGinnis has your forecast. Stay with us. All the news in 10 minutes. You are watching 10 at 10. All the news in 10 minutes. You are watching 10 at 10. Welcome back, and thanks for staying up late with us this evening. I'm meteorologist Chris McGinnis. Tonight's forecast here in Montgomery brought to you by Victory Land, putting you in the winter circle. And it is a very balmy start to the work week. Highs in the lower 80s today. We will be in the mid to upper 80s tomorrow with lots of fair skies across the region tonight. A very nice Monday evening. Fair skies and mild conditions tonight leading to a very warm day tomorrow highs again in the mid to upper 80s at or above record territory for some folks tuesday looks like a warm one wednesday looks like a warm one changes though with the extended forecast we'll check that out a little bit later on for tonight mostly clear mild conditions calm winds lows in the upper 50s for tomorrow if we hit that 87 degrees that will tie the record set back in 1986 tuesday again looking pretty warm wednesday also just as warm but changes beyond that i'll have the rest of your forecast coming up in just a few moments Quincy's 777 at Victory Land is a place to win big cash. And it's only minutes away on I-85, exit 22 and shorter. Win big, win cash, have fun, drive less. Win 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Quincy's 777 at Victory Land, I-85, exit 22, shorter Alabama. I'm John, you could be a winner too. It's the place to play that's a shorter drive away. All the news in 10 minutes. You are watching 10 at 10. Welcome back. Chris has a final look at our forecast. Pretty warm today. Very huh. warm today and even warmer tomorrow. In fact, we'll, we'll be up near record territory. If we hit that 87, that'll tie a record. 87 on Wednesday will break a record. But of course, the big changes when we roll into Thursday with a chance of wet weather, a little cooler finish for the work week. So if you like the 80s, you'll, you'll like the next couple of days, I think.
Okay. Wow. Speaking of uh, hot, the Alabama Athletics on a roll. A little sports news, the Crimson Tide Hoopsters will start the season ranked 15th in the country. Today's AP preseason poll has three SEC teams in the top 25. Meanwhile, the football team rolls up the rankings. Number three spot in today's BCS rankings. The Tide had a bit of a scare for Mississippi State, but did pull away. Bama just one of three unbeatens left in all of college football. If the Tide win the rest of the games, they need USC or Texas to lose in order to play for that national championship. So they're probably not going to get up to that one-two spot. So they're three. They're on the outside looking in, but you never know. Anything possible. Can, possible. Anything not probable, but possible. Anything so can happen with those uh, yeah. two major USC and Texas. We'll see. What we do know is we appreciate you joining us tonight. Thanks. Have a great night. Stay late. We'll see you. All the news in 10 minutes. You are watching Ken at 10 minutes.